Okay, we are going to solve problem 3.45 from Sadiku book. So, the question is find the current I. I is here. And we are going to use loop analysis or mesh analysis. And let's start by drawing the loops. Okay, I will draw the loops like here. And name this loop 1. This is loop 2. And then this is loop 3. And this last one is loop 4. Okay, now we start from the simplest equation that we can have. So we have current source here. And the direction is to the upside. And it is on the same direction as I3. So I3 is on the same direction as 4 ampere. And on the opposite direction, it is I4. So that will equal to 4 ampere. So let's save this as equation number 1. And let's start doing mesh analysis, starting at loop 1. Okay, we'll have loop 1 because we are using KVL. So the sum of voltage is in a loop is equal to 0. And we start from this voltage source. So it's flowing from the negative poles to positive poles. So the sign will be negative. Minus 30 plus 2. Yeah, this 2 ohm resistance. And we multiply it by I1. But I4 is flowing on the opposite direction. So this. And then this 3 ohm resistance plus 3. I multiply it by I1, but I2 is flowing on the opposite direction, and that's all the component in loop 1. So it's equal to 0. Now we simplify this equation. For I1, I have 2 plus 3, I have 5. 5 I1. And then for I2, I have minus 3 I2. Only this one. And for I4, I have minus 2 I4 and I move this minus 30 to the right hand side so I will have plus 30 on the right hand side and that will be equation number 2 now let's move on to loop number 2 again the sum of voltage in a loop is equal to 0 which is KVL so we have this resistor here, 3 ohm, and the current that passes through it is I2, but I1 is flowing to the opposite direction, and then plus 6 I2, but I3 is flowing on the opposite direction, and then this 1 ohm is the only only I I2 that pass through it so 1 times I2 it's I2 and that equal to 0 for I1 it is minus 3 minus 3 I1 for I2 it's 3 plus 6 plus 1 it's 10 10 I2 and for I3 I have minus 6 I3 and that's all that's equal to zero let's save this as equation number three and now let's move on to loop number three so the sum of voltage is equal to zero and now we start with this current source but this is current source, we cannot know the voltage between the, this node, so I will just write it as V34 here. V34. And we start from that V34, so the current is flowing from negative to positive, so the sign will be negative. Negative V34. And then plus 8. The only current that pass through it is I3. And for 6, 
is multiplied by i3 but i2 is flowing to the opposite direction so minus i2 and that will equal to zero and let's simplify these equations for i2 i have minus 6 minus 6 i2 for i3 i have 14 and minus v34 it's equal to zero and that will equal no that will equal to zero and let's save this as equation number four and now we move on to the last loop we have loop four we use kvl again the sum of the loop is equal to zero the sum of the voltage in a loop is equal to zero and let's start from this current source again it's flowing from positive to negative here so the sign will be positive so i have v34 and then this 2 ohm resistor we multiply it by i4 but i1 is flowing to the opposite direction minus i1 and then for this resistance the only current that pass through it is i4 and that will equal to zero and then i have minus two i1 plus six i4 plus three three four is equal to zero and let's have this as equation number five now we have five equation here and five variables i1 i2 i3 i4 and v34 and let's write this as matrix okay now here is the matrix of the circuit it is five by five i'm not going to solve this manually but i will plug this into matlab and we will see the result and the only important result is i1 because in the circuit i is equal to i1 and after plugging all this matrix to matlab i got i is equal to i1 is 8.56 ampere and this is our final answer hopefully i didn't make any mistake in the calculation thank you for watching